Hello everyone and welcome to Africa's Craziest, where we bring to you the good, the bad, and the outrageous insights about Africa. In today's video, we are taking a look at the top 10 prostitution countries in Africa. Before we get started, kindly click on the subscription button and notification bell to be notified each time we put up a new video. Also remember to like, comment, and share if you find the video interesting. Prostitution and sex work have been mostly frowned upon in many areas of the world. Yet, it is an industry that is heavily patronized. There are millions of women around the world who prefer sex work to any other work. There are also an increasing number of men around the world who are converting to the female gender for the purpose of practicing sex-related work. Many people travel the world for vacation and within that vacation, they expect sexually fulfilling experiences. With poverty across the continent of Africa very high at over 50%, many young women have migrated into a world of sex work. Prostitution is majorly illegal in many African countries, but the following countries have popularized prostitution leading to the growth of sex tourism. At position number 10 is Cape Verde. In Cape Verde, there are no prostitution laws and this simply implies that prostitution is legal. However, there are stringent laws against child prostitution and human trafficking. It was pointed out that the majority of the prostitutes in Cape Verde were exiled from Senegal and Ghana while only a few were as a result of poverty. At the ninth position we have Guinea-Bissau. Similar to Cape Verde, there are no prostitution laws in this country. It is a common practice in Guinea-Bissau and often accompanied by other crimes including drug trafficking. In 2016 it was estimated there were 3,138 prostitutes in the country. Often it is associated with other crimes, many pimps are also reported to be drug dealers. Poverty leads many women to be tempted into prostitution and cocaine addiction. Many of the prostitutes in Bissau and other towns in Guinea-Bissau are Manjaka women from Kayo in the Kashu region. They tend to be over 30 and wait in designated rooms in their houses for clients. Occasionally they will go to a local bar in search of clients. Prostitutes from Kayo also travel to Zigwincher in Senegal and Banjul in the Gambia to work. Younger prostitutes in the cities often work in bars. There have been reports of child sex tourism on the Basegos Islands. In the eighth spot is Sierra Leone. Prostitution in Sierra Leone is legal. However, in addition to this, child prostitution is very prominent even with rules enforced against child prostitution in the country. Prostitutes in Sierra Leone are often called serpents because of the hissing sound they make in their bid to attract customers. At position number 7 is Senegal. Prostitution in Senegal is somewhat complicated but regulated. Certification is needed to be allowed to work as a prostitute. To be certified, such a person must register with the police, test for sexual infections, get a valid identity card, and must be of at least 21 years of age. Senegal is known as the only country in Africa where prostitution is both acceptable and regulated. At the sixth position we have Morocco. Although prostitution in Morocco has been illegal since the 1970s it is widespread. In 2015 the Moroccan Health Ministry estimated there were 50,000 prostitutes in Morocco, the majority in the Marrakesh area. Prostitutes tend to be Moroccan women from lower socioeconomic backgrounds as well as migrants from sub-Saharan Africa, many of whom are victims of human trafficking. Sex tourism is a thriving industry in Morocco. Due to its accessibility to Europe and the large number of impoverished children in Morocco, it has become a known destination for foreign pedophile sex tourists. According to the Director of Defense for Children in Morocco, Many variables contribute to the phenomenon of sex tourism, such as the wealth gap between the rich and the poor in the country, the booming of the tourism industry, and the weak legal and law enforcement structures in implementing and protecting children's rights, which lead to tourists who travel to Morocco specifically looking for sex with children. At position number 5 we have Eritrea. Prostitution in Eritrea is legal, one, and regulated. Official figures state there are around 2,000 prostitutes in the country who are not allowed to operate near schools, 
hospitals, and churches. According to the 2009 Human Rights Reports, security forces occasionally follow women engaged in prostitution and arrest those who had spent the night with a foreigner. Some women enter prostitution due to poverty. Prostitutes are known locally as Shermuda in Arabic, or Mzerma and Miamen in Tigrinya. At position number four, we have Ethiopia. Prostitution in Ethiopia is legal, one, and widespread. Procuring, operating brothels, benefiting from prostitution, etc., is illegal according to Article 634 of the Ethiopian Penal Code, as revised May 2005, however these laws are rarely enforced. Some feel it has contributed to the increased incidence of AIDS. An AIDS estimate there are over 19,000 prostitutes in the major cities. Ethiopia has become a magnet for sex tourism, including child sex tourism. At the third position we have Nigeria. Prostitution in Nigeria is a dual case. While it is illegal in the northern states where prostitution is a serious offense according to Islam, it is not really chastised in the southern states. However, Serious offense is stipulated in the Constitution for brothel ownership and underage prostitution. Also, the constitutional law of Nigeria is against acts of sex workers. Nigeria prostitution is illegal but widely practiced in all major cities. Occupying the second position is Tanzania. Tanzania is a popular destination for sex tourism particularly in Arusha Bagamoyo and the islands of Zanzibar, Mafia, and Pemba. Many of the tourists are Italian. Zanzibar is also a destination for female sex tourism. Many of the beach boys are not from Zanzibar. There are some agents offering holidays to the island, including an exclusive guide. Most of the women are from Europe or North America. Child sex tourism is a problem especially on the coastal resorts and the Kenyan border. Whilst some of the children are trafficked, some turn to prostitution through poverty. And now the first most prolific sex destination in Africa is Kenya. More to this, Kenya is the only African country listed on the top 10 countries in the world with a high rate of prostitution. While it is one of the countries in Africa which is relatively easier to visit, it also has one of the largest sex tourism industries on the continent. The country does not discourage the practice despite the high level of STDs and HIV prevalent. Interestingly, Kenya is a popular destination among older white women who want to buy some time with a man. Children are lured into prostitution by tourists willing to pay handsomely for sex in secret locations. Prostitution is mostly legal though illegal in Nairobi yet widely popular and well practiced. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and why not share it with your network. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video on some of the craziest things about Africa.